All right, let's get into it. My name is Misha, and welcome back to Misha's Corner. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this amazing smothered chicken. It's so easy and simple and few ingredients. But you already know first, I'm going to wash up my chicken because that's just what I do. Um, that's what my grandmother told me to do, so I got to do it. So after I rinse it up just like this, I'm going to season it up. I'm going to use my Spice It's Lid Lemon Pepper. And then I'm also going to use this garlic and herb seasoning and put it to the side and allow it to marinate. Now you want to season this until your brain tells you to stop. Season the chicken. It should not be clear or white even after you put the spices. It needs to look seasoned. So season it. And then next, we're going to start searing out the chicken because you want a nice golden brown color on the chicken. And that's also going to help with the color of your gravy. With this step, you're not trying to cook the chicken all the way through. All you want is color. So don't even think about nothing. Don't overthink anything. It's about to be cooked again for about 40 minutes in gravy. Once you remove all the chicken, take, you know, drain some of the oil, not all of it. Next, you want to sear off your peppers, onions, garlic until you get a nice golden brown like mine, just like this. Yours should look just like this. Okay? Mm -hmm. Next, you're going to add some flour, you guys. I'm laughing, but I'm not joking because, oh my God, sometimes I make these recipes and people just do their own thing and then they cuss me out in the comments. Please do what I do in the video. So you want to add your chicken broth to it just like this. As you can see, it already has a nice color to it. It's not pale looking. And that's because we really seared the meat and cooked down the veggies. So you, you, at this step, you can season it however you want to. I use a I use garlic powder and adobo and the same garlic herb seasoning. And that's pretty much it and some black pepper. Next, you want to add your chicken back to the pot. As you can see, the gravy is already thickening up. If it gets too thick, you can add some more broth or water. And that's it. You want to cover it and allow it to cook. All right, so right here I have my cabbage, and in this bowl I have my shredded carrots, onions, garlic, peppers, and my bacon. It's one strip, you guys. I found one strip in the refrigerator, <laughs> and I decided to use it. So I'm going to add the veggies and the bacon and the carrots to the skillet and just cook them gently. You guys, wait till you see the little twist that I put on this. And so you guys can see not a lot of people do this but it was really really good and I can't wait for you guys to see the rest of this video so you want to mix this up add your garlic and mix this up and cook it together and I just season this with some Tony's I use Tony's I use some garlic powder and some pepper um, as you're gonna notice through the, throughout this meal I didn't use a lot of salt so make sure you taste as you go I always tell you guys, taste your food as you go. If you want salt, add your salt. So right here, I'm adding my cabbage, just like this. And then I'm just going to cover it and put it on medium heat and let it steam. I'm not adding any liquid to this. Just turn it down, medium low or medium, and let it steam until it's cooked. And I'll show you guys what that looks like. About 10 minutes later, this is what I have right here. And the total cooking time, I think I cooked this for maybe 15 minutes. I didn't cook it long at all, and it was perfect. Uh, the bacon was just enough. The one little strip <laughs> was just enough. And as you can see, the carrots wilted, and it just looks so good. So this is the twist right here, y'all. I added, I added a half a lemon juice right to it, mixed it up, and cut the heat off. And when I tell you that made a difference, like it lifted the cabbage. It was so, so, so delicious. And I hope y'all do it. So let's move on to the chicken. So this is what the chicken looks like. We're about to finish this up. Make sure you guys taste it with seasoning, salt, and pepper. Right here, I'm finishing it, finishing it up with the other half of my lemon. <laughs> y'all know I love my lemon. And next, I'm going to add some pepper. I'm adding these seasonings because this is what I wanted and what my chicken needed. I also added some poultry seasoning. And then I mixed it up and let it cook another 10 minutes. And that's pretty much it. 
perfect smothered chicken every single time the gravy is nice and thick the chicken is nice and tender i cooked this for about 40 minutes on medium heat number five and it just turned out so so good so this is the cabbage as you can see the onion the bacon the carrots and it was probably my favorite part of the dish even though the chicken was amazing the cabbage i ate a whole lot of cabbage today <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching thank you for your support I'm kind of late tonight, but I'll be back on time tomorrow and I'll catch you on my next one. Bye you guys